Remember making rubbings when you were a child? I used to love that. Just pulling different texture using my crayons and a piece of paper and pulling different textures off of interesting items. Well, I still like doing that. And stencils really enable us to get some cool results with rubbings. This would not be a great choice for a stencil or a mask that's gonna rub well, mainly because it's got such big open spaces and you don't get much bang for your buck. Stencils that work great for this are something like this that has a real tight design, or I think this one's gonna be pretty cool too. As far as what to use for rubbings, well, this is a rubbing wax that is made for rubbing textures off of gravestones. And this works great. In addition, just regular old crayons work. Now these might not look like regular crayons to you. That's because they're made for children and they're made out of soy wax. I like them because they fit in my hand easier for rubbing. And so I keep them on hand just for that. Let's try and see how they look. So it is just like you remember when you were a kid, put the stencil down, put the tissue over the top, any kind of tissue, and then just rub the crown across it. There's one, here's one. Ooh, that one's really sweet. And then here's our gravestone rubbing. This is really hard, almost like hockey puck hard. That's the biggest difference but you can see how you get such a great result. Isn't that pretty? Let's rub an image of the world here. Ooh, look at this. This looks pretty cool. You can also use other thin sheets of paper. Just try whatever you have on hand and see what works. I think Rubbings are great to keep on hand to put in your journal pages and make cards with, or who knows what you might do with them. They're just a lot of fun. Now I'm kind of tempted by this guy sitting out here, so I gotta just see if it's possible to do a rubbing of this. Oh, and it sure is. If you keep it flat, keep it flat and just go in one direction. It's actually a lot more interesting than I imagined. Go forth and rub.